Caravan Salon 2019. This is the 2020 range from Illusion. It's a small Spanish company. Uh, I mean, small by motorhome standards, that is. I um, mean, they do a few hundred pieces uh, per year, a few hundred uh, motorhomes per year. So, uh, that uh, maybe that isn't all that small, really. So, this is a 509H. It's quite a interesting layout. I mean, this would be the layout that I would want, for example, 52,500 euros. It costs Illusion 590H XMK, semi integrated with a big bed at the back. Right, so here. We've got a, a rather large table, under six meters, 235 centimeters in width up there. Got a bed, comes down electronically. Now the kitchen's only got two burners, but at the same time it's a, it's a relatively large kitchen. Well, the sink could be a bit bigger, of course, but at least it's got a proper domestic plug in it. There you go, that's from uh, Can, which uh, is a, an Italian company. I've seen lots of their stuff. I mean, they've been on the go for ages, but I've seen a lot of their stuff this year, that's to say, for the 2020 season, in um, all sorts of motorhomes. So, what we got here is we've got a couple of steps up there with storage. Uh, then there we've got the wardrobe. Above that, we've got the bed. To the left, we've got the fridge, and to the, to the right, we've got the washroom. There's the fridge. And here's the storage through there. Oops, sorry, shouldn't have done that. Left this open. <laughs> And there, and there, storage up there, yeah, might as well have a, we'll have a look at it. Oh, and there's a lovely big, uh, I almost missed that, look at that, lovely big. Skylight here. Yeah, look at that. Look at look how big that is. Enormous. I think actually the light helps this. In my opinion, it makes it look a bit bigger than it really is. Place your television up there should you want it. Uh, the bath here this is very uh, very unusual in a motor the bath very sorry the bath the, the the shower has got this very deep ledge and uh, that's about what oh 25 centimeters i'd say so i mean you could you can fill it with water get a plastic dock and uh, some chips or something and you can uh, spend hours of entertainment in there There's your sink. Looks a bit odd, doesn't it? You can't really fill it up with water. There's something you have to fill the sink up with water. I think you do anyway. That's how I sometimes wash myself. Sometimes. Yeah, if I wash my face, I filled it with water and then I. Oh, yeah. Wash it like that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I ought to watch a video on how to wash your face. Oops. Got a huge amount of space down there as well.
I can't say how, how what the quality of this is like, so that's one question I often get get asked. I don't know. I've never taken the thing up, never driven it. Um, but oh, I could do the these sides along here, a bit higher, and at the back especially. But um, on the subject of the quality, I don't know. But uh, I've got to say, on the whole. I, quite, I, I like this. It's uh, it's it's spacious. It's got a t it's it's spacious at the time at the same time as being small. Um, it's not quite this car sparking space you can get it in, but it's only six meters. So I see it's got blown air uh, heating, which I don't I personally don't rate, but I suppose you can't really expect much else for the price. Um, that's short. Sure, I can't remember sure. Can't remember if I showed you that, but there is storage in the steps as well. That's a really unusual layout to have steps like that in a van of uh, of this uh, type. Normally, they, they try and do that some other way. Having said that, the steps would, of course, they could. I mean, if it had been me, I'd have taken it to even further to the edge. Okay, now, uh, here. Uh, look how big this is, that's absolutely enormous. Seeps in on this side. So that was uh, to somebody who was lost and looking at me for an answer. Hey, we'll have a quick look at some other vans. Here you've got this thing here, which is on a Mercedes base, but this is just, it's just an illusion. It's a prototype. Yeah, I'll show you another six meter one, which isn't a prototype. You can buy this if you want one. That's assuming you've got 50, uh, what was it, 52,000, well, 51,319. This is also a six meter van. And we shall have a look inside. Because this is a really odd, an odd, odd, unusual, it's an unusual layout. I've just realized I haven't secured the gimbal properly, but anyway, it's behaving itself. And uh, so I'll just continue filming and hope that the phone doesn't slip. Illusion is an independent um, company. I've heard it said that it's Trigano, but it's not Trigano. It's uh, independent. Although sometimes you think some of the some of its uh, designs seem to be a bit Trigano-ish. Well, you know, for a six meter man, you've got, the, uh, you've got a bed there, you've got a bed above me as well. No, sorry, I haven't got a bed above me. Sorry, sorry, I, f I was forgetting. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's only a bed down here, which comes down over this enormous lounge. I think that's quite clever myself. And the toilet is exactly the same. Right, so this is the end of the Saturday, the uh, final Saturday. Tomorrow's the last day of the trade fair. So uh, I think people have, because this is the best day for sales. So if they're happy today, it, it indicates that they possibly made some sales. This comes up, of course, to form an extension to the kitchen, but uh, you can also use the table down there. Okay, so this is the two uh, six meter vans from this company.
So that was the 590, Illusion 596 meter motorhome. Yeah, I wish I had a wider angle than this. On the, cause my, I do have a wide angle, but it's currently out of electricity. Nuclear and HEP. Okay, thanks for watching. If you uh, please subscribe, and if you, f you might even uh, find this of any interest or use, uh, you may wish to uh, help me on Patreon. Thank you.